Well, I'm doing a series of videos on the policy provisions that you see in a life insurance contract. Uh, if you want a breakdown of them, go ahead and check out some of the ones I've done previously that will help you catch up to where we are now. My name is Jake Williams, and I'm a life insurance specialist with Step Up Wealth Management. For more information on life insurance or the role that it can play in a comprehensive financial plan, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way you're notified immediately any, any time I upload a video and you never miss one. So the first policy provision that I'm going to talk about is one that seems so uh, simple that it almost feels like you shouldn't have to say it. But as I described in one of my previous videos, life contracts in general, and life insurance contracts as part of them, try to eliminate ambiguity. That way there's no question of what is or isn't included in the contract and there's a clear agreement. And the, the policy provision I'm talking about today is the entire contract clause. And really what the clause says is that the life insurance policy, the copy of the application, and any writers or amendments are the entire contract. That's it. So it lists out what is able to be used when you are discussing or trying to determine what should happen under the contract. So you use the policy, which you should receive as the owner when, when, you, uh, when you accept and pay the premiums for the policy. Sorry, my mind just went blank for a second. When you accept and pay the premiums on your life insurance, you should receive a copy of your policy that policy and the application that you sent in or a copy of it and all of the information include in those and any riders or amendments that are included. That's all that can be referenced when you're trying to determine uh, resolving a dispute or paying a claim out of a life insurance policy. Check out the wording on it and make sure, but that's, that's what it's there for. And again, it almost seems so simplistic and so right there as plain as the nose on your face that y you shouldn't need it, but it's there to eliminate ambiguity and it protects both sides. It protects the insured and the owner of the policy from the life insurance company coming in after the fact and saying, well, we know we agreed on these things, but here's this other document and we're going to reference that one instead. No. This contract, this policy, this application, these riders, that's what we're going to evaluate for whatever discussion we're having, and that's what we're going to use. It narrows the field. That way, everybody is agreeing on the information that is being used to evaluate and determine whatever it may be, whether it's a cash value or a death claim or the, the, the payment of a policy anything in there. That is what is being used. So everybody is on the same playing field using the same information. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let's me know that I'm doing a good job. Let's me know that or lets YouTube know that I'm getting you guys the information you're looking for as well. If you have questions on your life insurance contracts or what's included in them, what isn't, what does it mean, drop me a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking, and it lets me know, you know things that I can turn into future videos. Most importantly, though, if setting up a life insurance contract is something that you want to look into or figure out how it could fit into your plan, your financial plan, your situation based on your goals, your needs, your life, there is a link in the description below where you can apply to become my client. Go check it out do a little masterclass and fact finding, and then we sit down face to face to figure out what we can do to protect your now, your future, and beyond. Thanks for watching.